Well, that was that wasn't easy to be honest. Um, I've worked because I've been looking after my mum for the last couple of years. The, the latest sort of work I've done in the last two years was uh, local scenes, so landscape mainly. So I decided that's what's going in, um, and then it was a matter of choice between the ones that I thought were the best. Or not. I mean, I always liked a bit of painting at school, but we never really got taught properly anything. Um, and I suppose I get my artistic element from me. my dad. He's uh, he was a stonemason, and he used to do. Uh, you know, it's like the sculptures, the angels and stuff for gravestones and what have you. And he also did, um, you know, the war memorials, the, the lettering on the war memorials, carving it out. He did that. So I don't know, perhaps that's where it comes from, I don't know, but um, really I started in 1996. I happened to be on strike from work for three months, we was out. And thought, I've seen this program on telly, it was like that Bob. Bob Ross program, Joy of Pain. I thought, well, I'm going to have a go at that. And I set off and that was it, I was hooked. And my wife bought my first diesel for a Christmas present. And that was it. And about 12 months after that, because I just started reading books and trying to learn myself. Uh, I've got loads of books. So I thought, I'll have a go at that. And then I joined John McCombs' class. Uh, Delf, where we go out into the landscape. The sort of method that the users have, have adopted, which is for landscape, sort of break the painting up into shapes, no more than 12 shapes. Scrub it in, don't try and paint the picture. Scrub it in as fast as you can, and then model it afterwards. That's, that's basically what I do. I've learnt a lot from John. Well, I'm also... <laughs> Where do you start? <laughs> Where do you start? Yeah, yeah. The most frustrating thing is that you're never satisfied. You're never satisfied. So you can always room for improvement, and you're learning all the time. You think you might be getting there, but you're not. Um, I mean, even the best painters, um, the impressionists or whatever, they, you know, Cezanne and whatever. You, he was never, never satisfied. Threw a lot of his stuff away. Which is probably worth millions now, but um, so the frustrating bit is, I mean, it's good not, it's good to make mistakes because that's how you learn and develop. But it is frustrating sometimes, you know. You think you can always think you can do better. I really take it day by day, really, um, and see where it leads. Sometimes I'll go abstract and uh, try and learn from that. I actually quite like doing abstracts, but I haven't done any recently. Um, what I tend to do sometimes is uh, is paint an abstract, then come back to it later and paint out the landscape over it, and let some of the abstract work come through. You know, leave some of it in. And some of, some of my best paintings have been done that way. This bill in particular, I like, I like it for me. It's, it's quite private where I am because nobody seems to know where I am, so I don't get interrupted all the time. But it's, it's cheap, is the main. And I uh, quite like the character of it, as you can see, it's got a bit of character with the old roofs and uh, ceilings and the old cotton mill posts there. 